Hey everyone, it's time for a nostalgia trip. Oh no! Man, this game starts you right off. No explanation. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, Ganon? Is that you? Looking a little fat there, buddy. It's not Zelda. It's <laughs> the adventures of Lolo. Oh my god, this is a really cool game that I played a ton as a kid. Made by HAL Laboratory, I'm sure you know them because of Smash and all that. Uh, this is 1989, this happened. Wait, we don't need to see this again. Spoilers. <laughs> Let's just start. I've played this a ton on the Nintendo Entertainment System with my brother. Uh, let's do it. We start with a little castle. We're a little blob. Everything looks dead and messed up outside. What's going on here? Your mission, save the captured Princess Lala from the Great Devil's Evil Empire. You are the only one who can save Princess Lala. That is really freaking hard to read. Holy shit. I had the biggest trouble reading that when I was a kid. Oh my god, this music. I have not played this literally in at least 30 years. Seriously. Um, so it's a, it's a complete puzzle game. There really isn't much to do except puzzles. This is us. We're Lolo. It's like a little kind of blue ball bomb slime kind of thing they don't ever explain. And you pick up parts and your mission is to open the doors on each of the levels and go higher through the castle. You're going to run into things like this guy, other different kinds of things that I'll explain as we go. This guy is called a snakey. They kind of look like snails without the shells or something. You can run into them. They don't hurt you, but you can't move them. So what you need to do is you notice I picked up that little heart container and in the uh, right hand corner there under my five, which is how many lives I have, you see that I have two shots. See that? That's what that is. So you can use that to actually do this. Uh, put him in an egg and move him. Or if you use one more shot, you can blow him right off the screen. That's what you can do with eggs. Now you can see now I have zero. But I can get this. Now it won't give me any more shots as you see because I don't need them. Unless you wait too long. That's what this game is like. <laughs> it's a bitch. So what happens now? Well, I've fucked myself because what you were supposed to do is go down and get that pearl down there and then when you do that, the door opens. I wanted to do this right away to show you what a bitch this game could be. Way back in the day, when my brother thought we were tough shits and finally figured out a puzzle, there's loads of ways that you can actually not make it even when you make it. So to kill yourself, I believe you press select. Yeah, there's a suicide button. That's how crazy this game is. So now let's do it the right way. You kind of have to think about it, and then once you have the plan, you kind of have to execute the plan quickly. Because as you can see, <laughs> shit happens. Well, if we have to hurry. Hurry up. Once you get the pearl, the monsters won't come back. So you're okay then. Now I can sit here as long as I want. But yeah, it's tricky. This is a real tricky game. And I don't know. I don't think they make games like this anymore. It's crazy. Alright, here's level two now. Now we have a new enemy. These are called Gull. They're pink little dragons. They kind of just look kind of cute. I don't know. I think they look cute. They will sit and sleep until you get every heart on the map. So what we're going to do is this. Now we don't want to get them all right away. So what we're going to do... I, oh god, it's been a long time since I've played this and I wanted to see if I could actually remember it myself. Uh, let's start with this one. Now, keeping in mind that they're going to wake up the minute that we get them all, uh, let's, let's be a little tricky about this. The thing with them is if they see you in their direct line of sight, they will throw fireballs at you. And since the pearl is there, this is what we're going to have to do. Now these blocks are tricky, especially if you're playing on like a new controller. I'm playing this on the virtual console, so it's a little bit slippery. Um, you can only push blocks, you can't pull them, so you have to be very careful with your placement. Now watch this. Bah! <laughs> they look so cute! They kind of look like baby Yoshis or something, I don't know. Now that guy down on the left is blocked, the one on top is not, so you gotta gun it! <laughs> and then they disappear once you get the pearl, and then you can leave. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times my brother and I have gone through this. Like, this used to be like our favorite, favorite game. Uh, let me think now what to do here. Oh, God, it's been so long, but I can't remember. I can't like believe that I'm even remembering like this much of it. And this music, um, spoilers, this music continues pretty much through the whole thing. That's one of the things I probably would complain about, but it was back in the day, so what are you gonna do? Now you notice that our friend Snakey's over there, he's blocking the way, and then we got this little green guy who's like running around, he kinda looks like a cat, like a Purin or something. Uh, he's called a Leaper. <laughs> 
He'll hop around and he's really kind of cute. Uh, he won't hurt you, but if he touches you, he will immediately stop and fall asleep. And that could fuck you depending on where you are. So what you do here is get that first heart for the two shots. Blow this guy out of the way. Get this one and quickly come up right here. The reason is, is see? I can't move him now that he's asleep. See that? So if, if that had happened like here or up here, that would have totally screwed us because we would have had to start over. So now what you do, he won't wake up for the rest of the time. Isn't this tricky? I don't know, to me, I feel like older games like this really made you think a lot more, but it could just be me. I know there's a lot of puzzle games out there now that probably mimic a lot of this stuff, but I think this was one of the favorite types of games for me and my brother to play because unlike a platformer where you had to like take turns and, and stuff and we would end up fighting over them miserably like Mario and stuff like oh my god you lost that for me or no you suck oh my god blah these kind of games were games where we could sit down together and like you know kind of think and problem solve together and I and I, that's like one of the best like memories I have with my brother doing that um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy this game a lot. I have beaten it once. It was a long time ago, and God knows if I remember how to do it now. Um, but I did. I don't know. I would play the whole thing for you guys if you want, but it's all going to be like this. And it's a little bit long. I wouldn't say long. I could probably beat it in like half an hour, but that's if I really remembered what to do everywhere. Now, these are skulls. Skulls will lay and do nothing until you pick up the final heart, much like the dragons. And once they do wake up, they're going to make a beeline straight for you. So, like, they will take any route necessary to get to you. So, what you need to do is what I've done here, block them all in. Now... Let's see here, which one should I do last? That's what we have to think about, because while I've got the two uh, top and bottoms blocked, the third one is the one that's gonna give us some crap. So, let's see. Uh, I think we can get these fine. It's these other ones that we're gonna have to think about. Oh, let me think. I think, okay, I think I know what we have to do. Let's do this. Now watch. Boom. And see, oh god, those are scary. Those scared me as a kid. I had to think about that one for a minute. I was like, can I shoot them? I can't remember. You can shoot these and block them off with an egg. He'll come back, so don't lollygag like I just did. <laughs> Quickly get the pearl so that they disappear. <laughs> Remember, you can't sit around and fuss. This is hard because I want to talk about the game and it's just like, ugh, I'm not going to move in this one because I have to think. I think these are called, what are these called, Rocky? I think that's what they're called. They don't hurt you either. They kind of lumber around, but what they'll do is try to push you into a wall or into an enemy and, and crap you out there. So um, they'll speed up if they see you. So, uh, their goal is to push you into other enemies or get you stuck somewhere. So I think, uh, let me think about this one. It's all coming back to me, though, I swear to God. Did you guys play this, like, as a kid on the NES? I want to know if you have. If you haven't, um, it's on the Virtual Console now. It's a real cool little game if you like figuring out puzzles. Uh, this first floor is kind of not a big deal, but it gets harder. I think we want to start with the left? Oh, I'm just gonna do it. The thing is, is that you want to move quickly. You don't want them to get... You see? You gotta be careful. You don't want them to get into a place where... I mean, you can't do anything about them. You, you cannot shoot these guys or get rid of them in any way. So this is what we're gonna do. I couldn't remember if you could shoot them or not. Boom! And then you go up the stairs when you finish with the floor. Yeah! Isn't that good, that? Congratulations, you have just cleared floor one. This is not the end of the battle. I believe there's ten floors in all, and each of them have five stages, so that gives you an idea of how how large it is. Um, gosh, should I keep going? I don't even know. Like, I don't know how much you guys want to actually see. <laughs> and I don't actually know how good I am at this. Um, I think this one is just, uh, what's this guy's name? I think Alma? It's, I think it's called an Alma. Do you know that my brother and I got the Nintendo Power that had this in it? Um, and we literally like tried to recognize and remember like all the names of everything because we like this game so much. This guy can't really hurt you. Uh, well, he'll hurt you if you if you if you let him run into you. So don't do that. So do like do what I just did. Avoid him and then get let the last heart be the one near here so that he'll disappear. When he sees you, he speeds up like crazy and uh, and all that. Uh, 
What are these Medusa heads? Yeah. So these are called Medusa heads, as you can see. They're a little bit Castlevania-ish. They don't move, but they will instantly kill you if you walk in to any of their line of sight. That's front, back, left, or right. So I think what we need to do here, let's see, is this. Push this one here. I might die here, because some of these I don't remember. Um, push this one down? Because there's hearts below them, too. Now I think, see how, ooh, see that? That used to scare me as a kid, look at that. <laughs> if that block wasn't there, uh, she would have shot the crap out of us, like for real. Now you can go anywhere you want at this point, but be careful. If you go around the the left or right most sides, they'll get you because they can they can get you that way. But they can't get me here. And be careful up here. Don't get directly above them, or else they'll they'll shoot you there too. See that? That's how you do that. <laughs> like I said, my uh, my brother. I'm getting so many flashbacks just looking at this. Holy shit! This is why I don't like practicing a lot of these before I do this. I just kind of want the nostalgia to happen. Um, so this is called a Don Medusa. It's like the Medusas that we saw already, but as you can see, he walks in a in a horizontal line back and forth. Now, like the other Medusas, he can uh, kind of shoot you from all four corners. So left, right, up, and down if he sees you. So we want to kind of get him blocked in somehow. Now, we're safe except for the very top. So don't go there. Like, stay here, right? And if you want to even make it worse, you can do this. <laughs> and now he's fucked. But uh, just be careful. And that's how you do that. I at least want to do it so we see all the enemies. I think that's all of them except for the main boss. And I'm not going to spoil that for you just yet. Yeah, these, these are a little scary too. <laughs> You also get like secret weapons in some of the levels. You can use like hammers and special things. You can float on eggs that you make in the water. There's all kinds of crap that you can do in this game. It's real good. Um, we'll do this last one if I can remember how. And then I think that's good. Cause I think, like I said, I wanted to show you all the little animals and stuff that are in here. Uh, I think this is one where we actually get a hammer. So you have to think before you start, because if you start moving, Rocky's going to start moving up there, right? So you have to be careful. Uh, I'm just trying to map a route. I think you have to follow him around in a clockwise direction in this one. Uh... I think that's what we- okay. Let's follow him. If he doesn't see us, he won't move fast. So if we're behind him, we're safe. He won't try to block us. Oh, and sir, I just said, I just said. Usually he goes all the way around. That was that was a stroke of bad luck, but that's okay. I think we can still do it. Now see how it's glowing now? We have a hammer. Now here's what we do. Wait for Rocky to move because I don't like where he's at. Now I think, yeah, you only get one use. So you have to be careful. And we also have two shots. So guess what we're gonna do here? Right? Bye, dude. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> cool, huh? So this has been the adventures of Lolo. Now, I don't think you guys are going to want to see more of this because it goes on forever. So I'm probably going to say right now, don't request it. I mean, if I'm bored, maybe I'll do some more of it. But it gets very tedious like this for like 10 floors worth. Uh, truly. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm so glad that I could show you guys another little piece of my childhood. If you like it, like I said, it's on the Wii U Virtual Console right now, actually. I didn't know that it was uh, until I had a look. I was actually going to play my original, but this is much easier. So uh, yeah, give it a shot. Check it out. Some old games, uh, they can be really fun. And uh, if you have any requests too for older games like this that this might remind you of, and maybe you'd like to see me play, you can do that too in the comments. Uh, and thanks for being here with me, guys. I'll see you soon.